Health geography is the application of geographical information, perspectives and methods to the study of health, disease and health care. Health geography can provide a spatial understanding of a population's health, the distribution of disease in an area and the environment's effect on health and disease. It deals also with accessibility to health care and spatial distribution of health care providers. The field is considered a sub-discipline of human geography, however, it requires an understanding of other fields such as epidemiology, climatology. Researchers in India have been laying greater stress on changing environmental factors and its impact on health as a system and on health care. In 2012, India is declared as polio-free country by WHO. During last year, no polio cases reported in India. It is interesting to note that disease ecology studies have shifted from the traditional communicable diseases to the more modern diseases such as SARS, bird flu and HIV AIDS. There is a link between environmental factors, agricultural practices, nutrition level, health and disease. The environment including physical, biological and socio-cultural conditions plays a dominant role in determining the health status of women. Increasing incidences of tuberculosis, bronchial asthma, lung and breast cancer due to exposure to air pollution, skin diseases due to contact with polluted water and soil, urinary tract infection due to poor sanitation conditions and stresses and strains of the physical and social environment leaving their imprint on the mental health are some of the problems faced by women. Increasing environmental pollution resulting from industrialization and technological development has become a matter of global concern. Therefore, the impact of air, noise and water and land pollution on human health has become an important area of study by geographers. According to the World Health Organization, better environmental management could prevent 40% of deaths from malaria, 41% deaths from lower respiratory infection and 94% of deaths from diarrheal diseases. This translates to 13 million deaths each year, 5 million of which are children and these threats are not restricted to developing countries. The possible impacts of climatic change on human health are one of the burning issues that have also been addressed by Indian geographers. Akta in 2007 has observed the changes in climate in Kashmir and the consequent impact on the local population. The growing threats of diseases arising due to various natural hazards has been focus of the study. Akta has emphasized on the various health problems that can result from the tsunami strike and has outlined a holistic framework of study of health and disease that need to adopt it under the circumstances. The information on this module is divided into five parts to understand health geography as a whole with its new application and approaches. First one, geographical distribution of healthcare facilities in India. That includes number of primary health centers, hospitals, community health centers and facilities at these centers. Second module is geographic information system. Third one, environment and health case study of Karnataka. Next module, urban slum and distribution of disease. Next, spatial distribution of health statewise. <music> Location of healthcare facilities has been a significant area of study by medical geographers. Distribution of settlements and settlements having health facilities are prime concerns with respect to health geography. Geographers also assess the possibilities of employing geoinformatics in promoting the use of local health tradition and thereby provide affordable healthcare option 
within the reach of the common man. As on March 2010, there are 1,47,069 sub-centers, 23,673 primary health care centers and 4,535 community health centers functioning in the country. Number of sub-centers existing as on March 2010 increased from 1,46,026 in 2005 to 1,47,069 in 2010. There is significant increase in the number of sub-centers in the states of Chhattisgarh, Haryana, Jammu Kashmir, Maharashtra, Orissa, Punjab, Rajasthan, Tamil Nadu, Tripura and Uttarakhand. The sub-center is the most peripheral and first contact point between the primary health care system and the community. Each sub-center is required to be manned by the least one auxiliary nurse midwife, that is ANM, female health worker and one male health worker. The sub-centers are provided with basic drugs for minor ailments needed for taking care of essential health needs of men, women and children. Primary health centre is the first contact point between village community and the medical officer. The primary health centres were envisaged to provide an integrated, curative and preventive health care to the rural population with emphasis on preventive and promotive aspects of health care. As per minimum requirement, a primary health centre is to be manned by a medical officer supported by 14 paramedical and other staff. The activities of primary health centre involves curative, preventive, promotive and family welfare services. As per minimum norms, a community health centre is required to be manned by four medical specialists that is surgeon, physician, gynaecologist and paediatrician supported by 21 paramedical and other staff. It has 30 indoor beds in one OT, x-ray, labour room and laboratory facilities. It serves as a referral centre for four primary health centres and also provides facilities for obstetric care and specialist consultation. An existing facility can be declared a fully operational first referral unit only if it is equipped to provide round-the-clock services for emergency, obstetric and newborn care in addition to all emergencies that any hospital is required to provide. <music> Geography and health are intrinsically linked. Where we are born, live, study and work directly influences our health experiences. The air we breathe and food we eat, the viruses we are exposed to and health services we can access. The social, built and natural environment affect our health and well-being in ways that are directly relevant to health policy. Spatial location, the geographic context of the place and the Contactedness between places plays a major role in shaping environmental risk as well as many other health effects. For example, locating healthcare facilities, targeting public health strategies or monitoring disease outbreak all have geographic context. Health geography views health from a holistic perspective encompassing society and space and it conceptualizes the role of place, location, geography in health, well-being and disease. Although health geography is closely aligned with epidemiology, its distinct primary emphasis is on spatial relationship and patterns. Geographic information systems are a valuable addition to the health geographer's toolkit. A geographic information system is a computerized system for collecting, storing, representing and manipulating spatial data and such systems are increasingly being used to interrogate and analyze health related information to investigate health outcomes and healthcare provisions. Geographic information systems support public health in diverse ways including mapping, monitoring, 
and modeling infectious and chronic diseases, disease surveillance and outbreak detection, emergency preparedness and targeting intervention and health promotion initiatives. Recent innovative research based on geographic information systems can shed a new light on the impact of the built environment on physical activity levels, diet and the problems of increasing obesity. Although health geographers often use traditional epidemiologic approaches, for example, in both study design and statistical analysis, the discipline also makes use of distinct analytical tools including geographic information system methods for integrating, mapping and analyzing data and spatial analysis statistical techniques including clustering and spatial interpolation methods. Geographic information systems and spatial analysis further supports research investigating the relative influences of individual and community level health risks within unified framework. Current developments in health geography include a stronger focus on health inequalities and the impact of spatial and social marginalization on health and more explicit exploration of the nature of health change. The later acknowledges that spatial relations are dynamic and that health variation can be consequence of individual mobility and population movement and migration. Geographic information systems which support the analysis of dynamic spatial data are being more closely aligned with global positioning systems to monitor the movement of people in real time, contextualize the interrelation between the physical and built environments, people's daily routine and their health. The environment is often cited as an important factor influencing the health status of individuals. This includes characteristic of the natural environment, the built environment and the social environment. Factors such as clean water and air, adequate housing and safe communities and roads all have been found to contribute to good health, especially the health of infants and children. The number of asthma affected children in Bangalore city has risen at an alarming rate over the last three decades. Between 1979 and 1999, the number of pediatric asthma cases rose from 9% to 29.5%. From 1999 to 2009, 25.6% of the city's children were affected by the lung disease. The increase in the number of asthmatic children in Bangalore is directly related to the demographic change of the city and partially due to saturation of genetically predisposed population. According to researchers, it is estimated that the morbidity of non-communicable respiratory burden in India will be 57.2 million by 2016 and that of asthma and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease will be 45 million, a figure much higher than that of disease like diabetes, ischemic heart disease and cancer put together. The number of cases of allergic rhinitis had also increased along with comorbidities like middle ear infection and rhinitis. There are 2.3 billion children aged between 0 to 19 years worldwide and over 40 percent of the disease that they are affected by can be attributed to the environment. Diarrhea claim the lives of 2 million children every year and around 80 to 90 percent of them were due to environmental condition. Depletion of groundwater level is also causing major health problems. The rise of fluoride content in the water is causing psoriasis among North Karnataka people and also Kolar district. Psoriasis is found even among pregnant ladies and which is affecting their womb. 
goiter is another disease which is commonly found among coastal Karnataka people. The urban population in India is expected to increase to more than 550 million by 2030. Currently, a sizable portion of the population in most Indian cities lives in slum areas. The increasing concentration of population in slums and urban poverty have elicited a strong interest in urban health conditions in general and health of slum dwellers and the urban poor in particular. More than half of the population in Mumbai lives in slum. The under 5 mortality rate was 73 for every 1000 live births among the urban poor compared with average of 48 among all city dwellers in India. Malnutrition levels are slightly higher among urban poor children than among children in rural areas. More than 3 out of 5 children in urban slums do not receive all childhood vaccination. The reach and utilization of primary health services is poor in urban slum communities in India. National Family Health Survey found that for India as a whole, the urban fertility level has already come down to the replacement level with the total fertility rate of 2.1 children per woman. Teenage pregnancy and motherhood in India continues to be high particularly in rural areas and among the poorer and less educated population. Malnutrition continues to be an important risk factor for children deaths in developing countries including India. Research shows that mortality rates among children with severely acute malnutrition is 5 to 20 times higher than it is among well-nourished children. According to the Human Development Report, India has the highest proportion of undernourished children in the world along with Bangladesh, Ethiopia and Nepal. Anemia is widely prevalent in India, particularly among children. In the cities, 49 to 68% of children ages 6 to 9 months are anemic. Urban dwellers are more prone to some diseases such as diabetes, asthma, goiter, and other thyroid asthma among women varies from 591 per 1 lakh in Delhi to 3133 per lakh in Kolkata followed by Nagpur. The extreme crowding conditions, lack of proper sanitation and environmental pollution in very large cities exposes residents, particularly slum dwellers, to a high risk contracting tuberculosis, which is a highly contagious disease. A wide range of serious diseases, including several types of cancers and heart and lung diseases, are associated with tobacco use at slums. Health indicators and prevalence of disease varies across the states and the country due to various geographic and socio-economic factor. There are certain diseases which specific to particular geographical area. Government is considering geographic aspect with respect to distribution of healthcare facilities. In India, the communicable disease burden remains significant. Every year, there are over 1.8 million new cases of tuberculosis and about 3,70,000 deaths resulting from the disease. Over 1.5 million people contract malaria each year. It is estimated that over 550 million people live in areas endemic to filariasis are exposed to the risk. As many as 90,000 persons are undergoing treatment for leprosy. The National Cancer Registry Program estimates that there will be more than 8 lakh new cancer cases every year. Tobacco related cancers predominate, with the cervix and breast cancers being leading cancers in women. India is prone to natural disasters such as cyclones, floods, and earthquakes. While floods in the Indo-Gangetic and Brahmaputra 
plains are annual features and around 8% of land is vulnerable to cyclone. Around 54% of land is vulnerable to earthquake out of which 12% areas fall under severe earthquake zone. Natural disaster in India cause heavy losses in terms of human life, mental stress as well as financial loss of property and personal well-beings. Health geography recognizes the importance of context, setting and spatial scale for global to local in determining health outcomes. The issues facing health and healthcare are complex and an integrative multidisciplinary approach is crucial to ensure that research provides relevant high quality evidence to inform health policy. Partnerships among health specialists, geographers and others can help sustain innovative approaches to solving complex problems and ultimately reduce inequality. Mm -hmm.